sound of the other speakers at Geneva? Well, one of the most important speakers at the first conference was Niels Bohr. Oh, let me start with Baba, who was the chairman of the whole conference. He was the atomic physicist from India. And uh, he was the one who, I think, from our point of view, committed the supreme indiscretion, which was very good, which was very, very helpful to the future generations, that he mentioned fusion in his very first address. Fusion was supposed to be a hush-hush subject that you were not supposed It's a very interesting, I was reflecting last night on the sort of times of those. First of all, science was very much more important than it is now. Scientists were much more believed in. There was a science advisory committee which consisted of Rabi and Baba and uh, and a man, Goldschmidt, I think, was a member, and there was a Russian of, um, very tall man who discovered the positrons at Lea. Um, but uh, I've forgotten his name. But anyhow, these men were sort of supremos. They were looked upon as uh, really the great wizards of the age. And the United Nations organization looked upon them in a way which no scientist has since attained uh, the credibility of. Then uh, at the meeting itself, as I said, Baba made that wonderful speech which led to the fusion being the important subject in the 58 conference. 55 already, it was fusion-less. But for the president to make the very first talk on fusion was rather important because it brought the, this, the sort of, uh, what do you call it, the uh, declassification of the fusion uh, business. Then what do you remember about Homi Baba's speech? Well, it was a very good speech. It was an electrically electrifying speech in that sense because it brought together, brought out in the open something which had been hush-hushed throughout the secretariat, throughout the conference. There was not a single paper on fusion reactions because people were afraid that we had gone so much far. I should start by saying, what did Homi Baba say at the conference? He said. Uh, sorry, he's, uh, he's you can start by saying Homi Baba. I remember Homi Baba. I saying, remember Homi Baba saying. Just, just a second. Okay. I remember Homi Baba saying quite clearly that there should be a whole disclosure of what nuclear fusion can do in terms of producing power, which meant that the whole business of nuclear reactions at the hydrogen end would have come out in the open. And we had not put them at all in the program for one bit at that time. And it was so electrifying to hear the chairman of the conference bring this point right at the outset. And that was very good. That, of course, worked in three years' time, didn't work then, because the conference had been prepared. But in 58, the whole conference was about fusion, if you like. That was the major event of the conference. Mm -hmm. Because Baba had always been saying that India should make weapons and should uh, de deploy them. But he had not been listened to, neither by Mrs. Gandhi nor by her father. But then the test came and we were very surprised. This was after Baba's death. We were very surprised. Thank you, Professor Salam.